by Technology Reviewers. Here's a video showing you how to install the Samsung Health Monitor. So, you know this application, it's not accessible if you are looking for it on the Google Play and you search Samsung Health Monitor or Health Monitor, find it. But they have a purpose uh, and a procedure to install it on your phone. So uh, we made a video and a lot of you uh, asked us what application we used for measuring the blood pressure or uh, ACG or into the Galaxy Store, you will not find it. So I was struggling to find it for the smartwatch. You know, you can search in both in two ways for the smartwatch or for your phone. And if you put health monitor, you will not find nothing. Uh, the Samsung Health, but this is not the application we need. Another way is to search from your smartwatch directly. Let's see. Samsung Health Monitor. And it's like this. This is the application, but it will open on your watch. And now let me show you on the watch what we have to do to install it on your phone. Let's slide and you have here, it's by default installed on your smartwatch. If not, you can use your Google Play from your smartwatch to find it. Is this application here? Let's click it. And it's called Samsung Health Monitor. Now, uh, put the ACG for example and it will direction you to install it on your phone. Download your application on your phone. Now I have clicked. It appears Samsung Health Monitor. It's the Galaxy Store but you saw I searched before into the Galaxy Store and it didn't find it. Maybe it's a technique from Samsung to hide it uh, from all the users who don't have this Galaxy smartwatches. Now let's open it and what is a sad thing, uh, okay we got to put the electrocardiogram, the ACG and uh, well, let's see what permissions, no problem, because it will stock somehow into the Samsung Health profile data, mm, we have a notice, okay yeah yeah yeah, and now what it's a sad thing that Samsung didn't uh, solve and I hope in uh, the near future Samsung will fix this is you have to calibrate the watch one time per month. So this is not good because uh, you realize you calibrate it at low at all uh, and maybe they thought of this technique to keep it uh, accurate but for the users, they must put a policy before and they must put a disclaimer saying to people, you have two possibilities um, to uh, reconfigure it monthly or never reconfigure it, but put a disclaimer, not accurate, because I don't see the rational uh, thinking of Samsung. Uh, to calibrate it this often, the like amount, and uh, they can put these two possibilities for the user to choose. Maybe we are not having uh, uh, problems with our heart, but we need uh, from time to time to check our heart, or maybe uh, some of, uh, of us uh, have uh, minimal problems with the heart also not that often to calibrate it but sometimes we need it so here's another example think yourself going into the vacation into another country and you will not have this blood pressure monitor professional monitor of the arm to calibrate it and um, you calibrated a month ago or 28 days and you will go then in the 29 day into the vacation in the, to the 14 or 41 day it,
Smart watch will tell you to recalibrate it and it's not a possibility when you are uh, into a vacation or if you are you on a trip more than seven days, two weeks and the watch uh, is necessarily to recalibrate it. So I hope Samsung will fix this into the near future. And also I got to report today CG we have a problem. It's not measuring correct now on the, the last version we are in November 23 and it's not measuring good at all. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. Here is the, our tutorial and review. Have a great day. See you. Bye.